Hello and welcome to another video in our world in the limelight and I'm Amanda Davy, and I'm looking today at another book that has messed with my head considerably since I first got it and read it and scoured it and went into it in a fair amount of depth. This book is The Secret Life of Paintings and was the product from a BBC broadcast on, or series, on The Secret Life of Paintings. It covers, or the, the series covered, a whole range of different paintings and I, I'm going to look specifically at the one that grabbed me the most. But uh, it looked at the ones that are on this list, the Madonna and Chancellor Rowling by Jean Van Eyck, St George and the Dragon by Uccello, La Primavera by Sandro Botticelli, a image of which is used, an image of which is used on the cover of the book, Christ Crowned with Thorns, Hieronymus Bosch, a classic Bosch painting, and The Ambassadors by Hans Holbein. Now, that it, all of them are evidence of a world that we have forgotten existed. We, we tend to see art now as pretty pictures or pictures that make us think or react or unmade beds or, or bricks or mad weird things going on or, or entertainments in um, under underpasses. There are some wonderful lichens in, in some underpasses in London, blown up enormous. Um, and yet in, in times gone by, church paintings and paintings on the walls were like books to the people who viewed them. It was not such a literate era, time. And so what people saw in the paintings, in the images that they were looking at, they understood visually far more than we can understand anything visually ourselves, in spite of the fact that actually some of the modern artists put in a huge amount of symbolism to their paintings in the same way that the royal family tend to put a fair amount of symbolism into some of their actions and pieces that they wear. So anyway, The Ambassadors. Um, I have read a book that is about an inch thick on the detail in The Ambassadors, the painting. It is an extraordinary Description of one single event, but backed up by loots, by world maps, by the clothes that both of the ambassadors are wearing, and the extreme weirdness of that skull. And, and in the book, this, there are other evidences, including one from Leonardo da Vinci, of other optical illusions that are used. If you go and see the ambassador's painting in the National Gallery, there's a mark on the floor where if you stand on that mark and look across at the painting, you will actually see the skull as it's designed that you would see it from that mark and the date and the time is echoed in where you stand in relation to the painting. So it, it is another example of not everything you see is quite what you expect and that is, is something that makes you think about so many different things. So anyway, this is a very short video. And um, just to celebrate another book that just makes me myself look at things 
in a different way or try to see things from a different point of view as much as as is achievable and that's what I'm trying to say really um thank you very much for watching and uh Simon will be doing some more woodlands next weekend and all the very best and it would be lovely if you could like subscribe or comment with any thoughts or if you've seen the ambassadors or any of the other paintings and I'm sorry that I've not really gone into any depth anyway thank you very much